general user interface improvements. That is what we're doing in this video. Before we do that, let's declutter this. What just say? So just right click anywhere, all mods, and collapse all. Nice. And invertly, you can right click, all mods, expand all. Boom. Oh my god, so many mods. All right, let's um, collapse them. All mods, collapse. All right, let's create this separator. Whoop. No. Come on. Copy this. Tiny wrench and spanner. Create separator and paste. Good. All right. First mod, UI extensions. This mod adds various custom menus to Skyrim for modern use. Main file 1.2.0. Files. Let's download it. Close those up. Double click to install. And do we want to extract this BSA? No, we do not. All right, let's activate it. Easy wheel menu SSE conversions. A wheel menu, original design by Expired, to make various skills and features from other mods available with a single key. Man, oh man, the things they do to this game. So amazing. Let's download it. Version 2.1. Files. Version 2.1. Mod Manager download. And it's downloading. It's downloaded. Now install it. Okay. Activate. Easy wheel menu. Convenient horse patch. Makes horse whistle and horse call powers available. Thorough. The menu added by Easy Wheel Menu Mod. And then we're going to rename the plugin. So download. Files. And let's download it. All right, let's install it. Okay. And before I open up that folder, I'm going to copy this. Good. Right click on Easy Wheel Menu, Convenient Horses Patch. Open in Explorer. Right click on the plugin. Yeah, it's an ESL. Is that all we're doing is we're just renaming the .esp? Yeah, basically. All right, we didn't have to paste that. So I'm just slow, slow double clicking it, or you can just right click rename click at the very end and just change that to ESP good enter are you sure you want to change it yes close it out we are now done with that one better sleep wait menu this mod changes the amount of time you can wait or sleep we want the 744 hour 60 FPS version so we download it files 72 72 744 744 60 FPS. That is the one. That makes it so you can wait for more than 24 hours at a time. 744 hours at a time, in fact. Nice. Wait, didn't it activate this? Let's activate it. All right, let's install this. Double click. Better sleep with menu. Nice. Activate. Interface hard coded key tweaks. More of your remap keys will work instead of having to use your hard coded ones and allows binding commands to the number pad. All right, more hotkeys, nice. And this was originally made for classic, legendary edition, but no conversion needed, it just works. So download it, go to main files, and I already forgot the name. Boop. Numpad bindable, normal, numpad bindable. This one, second one. Good, good, double click, okay. And that little green tower just means it's legendary edition mod. Quick Loot RE. This mod adds a looting menu akin to the one present in F04. Fallout 4 for those in the know. Alright, main file, Quick Loot RE. Files. Mod Manager download. Download. Nice. Nice, nice. Double click. Okay. It is installed. Now activate it. Skyrim Skill Interface Retexture. This mod retextures the skill interface used when leveling up and selecting perks. Main files, cert se 4.1. File, only one version to download, good. There we go, double click, and we should get a full mod, and we did. So let's expand this. So click next over here, press next over here. And if this is too uh, tiny to see, you can right click, open image in new tab, and you'll get a much bigger image, but I can see this okay. So from this window, we're gonna pick background, iridient stars, HDR nebula. 
Next. Next. We want perk lines option three. Perk lines option three. Next. Next. Now we want perk line color yellow. Perk line color yellow. Next. Next. Constellations option two. Constellations option two. Next. Next. So many choices. Perk stars option two. Perk stars option two. Next. Next. HD Masser and Secunda and more stars. The second option from the top, HD Masser and Secunda and more stars. Very cool. Next and next. HDR Nebula, HDR Nebula, next, next. Thank you, you're welcome, install. Very good. Activate, close the full mod, and now Sky UI. This mod replaces the console-based UI with a more comprehensive and functional one suitable to a PC environment. Yeah, one of those mods you just can't play without for so many reasons. So let's go and download it. Uh, 5.2 SE, download. Files, only one version, download. Let's go and install it. Boom, Sky UI, okay. This mod contains at least one BSA. Do you want to extract it? No, 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 we don't. All right, so we have to do some stuff in uh, SSE edit. So let's go ahead and activate that. In the drop down here, go to SSE Edit and click Run. All right, from here, select None, and we're going to choose Skyrim.esm and Sky UI. Only those two. Click OK. There we go. That's it. It is done. Now we're going to right click on Sky UI, add Masters, and we're going to click Skyrim.esm and then click OK. Are you sure? Yes. And that's it. Close it. Make sure Sky UI is checked. We do not want to back up the plugins and click OK. Okay, we got another step. Open up SSE Edit once more. Right click, select None. Only to click on Sky UI, click OK. And now we're going to flag it as an ESM and an ESL. And this is how you do that. Uh, click on the checkbox here, click on file header, over here where it says record flags, click on there, right click, edit, are you sure? Yes. Tick the box next to ESM, and tick the box next to ESL, and click OK. Alright, now, now it uh, flagged it as a, um, an ESM, flagged ESP, and an and, and ESL, yeah, yeah, okay, close out. Make sure that's checked, make sure that's not, click OK. Alright, moving on. Sky UI SC, flashing save games fix. This mod fixes the flashing save game entries when trying to save or load a game in the in game menu. Quest journal. Main file, version 1.0. Download. Files. Mod manager download. Close it out. Double click this. OK. And now it's installed. The Elder Scrolls Legends loading screens. This mod adds 56 high quality and lower friendly artworks from the Elder Scrolls Legends as loading screens. Works as a vanilla replacer and alongside vanilla loading screens. So let's download that. Version 1.2.0. And there's only one version anyway. Download it. And there's a full mod. Let's expand that full mod. Double clickety click. Chances are your aspect ratio is 16 by 9, but if it isn't, choose whichever one yours is. So I'm keeping it at 6 by 16 by 9. Next. Next. Display messages. Yes. Yes. Next. Next. Loading screen frequency, 50%. Indeed. And then install. And that's it for that. Close that up. Check that off. Now wider MCM menus for Sky UI. This mod provides wider MCM menu interface of Sky UI to prevent mod titles, titles, text clipping and clipping inside MCM menus. Sounds good. So main files option two, download. Go into files, main files option two, even wider rescaled MCM menu for Sky UI. Don't click to install. Boom. Very good. Activate that. MCM Helper simplifies the creation of mod configuration menus and extends them with powerful new features such as persistent INI settings and hotkey registration. Nice. 
Mod authors will be able to write simpler, cleaner papyri scripts for their configs. Players will be able to spend less time in menus. Yeah, that is freaking amazing. Is that going to replace FISS? F-I-S-S? I forget what that acronym is for. I don't know. Time will tell. This is new to me. All right, let's download it. Final. And, woo, there's a VR version. Nice. MCM Helper SE. We want the SE version. Good job, Mr. Parapet. Mod Manager download. Download. Double click. All right, MCM Helper. Do we want to unpack that? No, we don't. No. And then activate it. Let's go ahead and delete all this. Delete installed downloads. And with that, we are done with general user interface improvements. And in the next video, we are going to tackle heads up display. Have a good one, y'all. Thank you for watching.